So this is a huge, huge kick for Dean Rock. If this goes over, Dublin may win. The life of a free taker is executing under pressure time and time again. I've missed big kicks. I've scored big kicks. That will always be the case. People refer to me as a calm individual. From a free-taking perspective, it's vitally important to be very clear in your mind and forget about everything that's going on around you and be able to concentrate on that particular moment. For every free kick, you shift from a team mindset into an individual mindset. Trusting my routine and blocking out every distraction just got to focus on your own process and whether it's a point down with a minute to go or whether it's on the training field or on the pitch, you've got to try and get your heart rate down. Just going to execute on the strike. It's curling. It's over the bar at Dublin lead. Well, I grew up in Garrison, North County, kind of Dublin. And it's a huge rock tradition in the, in the GAA goes back to my great-great-grandfather who would have been, you know, in Crow Park and thrown up the ball at the very start of the game and that carried on to my great-grandfather and then my grandfather and then obviously my dad as well. My um, grand-uncle, Joe Rock, man, he would have looked after dress rooms in Crow Park for 83 years. They literally just lived a couple of doors down and that's the family home still there now. Betty is, is still living there. I was exposed to Crow Park, the change rooms, the pitch from a from a very young age and it was kind of a unique thing that was great for me growing up as a child and, and certainly added this motivation to want to get out there and play someday. I work for, for Stewart's Care in, in Palmerstown which is a community-based service provider for people with intellectual disabilities so um, I would have coached Special Olympics athletes for uh, quite a number of years prior to moving into a new role as fundraising manager and um, I suppose it was something that just was was brought upon me by doing a sports science degree I love kind of helping other people and um, in particular those with intellectual disabilities and uh, it certainly inspires me every day it's quite a humbling job and uh, I just want to try and help as many people as I can I'm quite affiliated now with Stewart's Care and I just want to help um, the organisation grow and increase the awareness of the organisation. You know, every day you're greeted with love, and, and that's the great thing for me. That's what I love about my job. It's it doesn't really feel like it doesn't really feel like work. The environment that we're in, every player wants to be better. Every player wants to play. So I suppose when you have that environment where everyone wants to improve on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, everybody wants to be on the first 15, and everyone wants to be on the 26 guys to get to tug out. Everyone else wants your position. I think that's really healthy. I think that's what you need to, to be successful. Guys are striving to be better and better each and every day, and uh, I think the day that you, you think you've reached your peak or you think that you've been successful and you think you've achieved enough, I think that's the day that you're gone, your head's gone. You don't want to just rest on your laurels and or just rest on what you've done in the past. It's all about the present moment, it's all about now, and it's always all about trying to impact on the future. You only get a chance to play for Dublin for a short period of time, so it comes with a, a huge responsibility. I suppose, I suppose a lot of great men have wore the jersey in the past, and I suppose you know you got to maximise that as best you can and keep up that tradition of the Rock family name in Crow Park and playing games for Dublin.